Good morning and this Friday morning, welcome to our daily prayers together. Over the last few days, one thing I've been doing is um, talking to some of our local funeral directors. Um, one of our team have came up with the idea of holding a memorial service for those who've had funerals during the pandemic where the whole family couldn't attend. And it's really interesting talking to the funeral directors. They were really echoing that need. It's a lovely example of how we as church can help a bit towards some of the needs out there. Um, it wasn't my idea, but it's a brilliant idea. And I'm really pleased we're able to do it. It's so good when we can do something for our community. We pray together now. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Today we're doing Matthew 6, verse 19. Do not, Jesus says, store up treasures for yourselves on earth, where moths and vermin destroy, and where thieves break in and steal. One of the famous sayings of Jesus. And of course he's talking about the fact we are all investors. Yes, I don't know about you, I haven't got a spare million to, to put into stocks and shares. But all of us can invest our time and our energy and, yes, our finances. And this question about where are you putting your investment? And it's a really practical one. And this particular verse says, if you put it all in things of this earth, gradually they all depreciate, they all corrupt, they all get old. And their value will shrink away. So why would you do that? If for you it's all about owning that wonderful car or fantastic holiday or amazing house or, well, whatever is your thing. Beware, Jesus says, because over time the pleasure in owning it will go. It'll start to age or you will start to age and not enjoy it so much. It's a common sense thing. He's saying, we're not saying we shouldn't enjoy what we have, but where, where are our priorities in terms of investing? Now, we're going to be looking at this tomorrow, but I just want us to think about this first part. Jesus is warning there's a danger in putting all our energy and wealth and attention into the things of this world. How much of your mind or spare time is spent on the things of this earth, on, as I said, the holiday, the house, the car, whatever it is, and how much on the things of God? Chance to pause now. Heavenly Father, I recognise things like a holiday or a lovely house or whatever it is aren't bad in themselves until they take so much of my energy to the exclusion of you. Help me to invest well with where I put my energy, my money, my thoughts and my heart. Amen. Space for our prayers. And so as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power 
and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. So may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all, now and forevermore. Amen.